Today on Project Shop, we're gonna be taking a look at my Lugan milling machine. I'm having a problem with the three-phase motor. At first, I thought it was the three-phase generator, which I just recently did a video on. This thing's actually working fine. Um, it fires my three-phase uh, punch press up, no problem. So we know that the three-phase is working okay. When I fire this mill up, the motor pulls 14 amps. It's a three horse motor rated at eight and a half amps. So there's definitely something going on and uh, we're gonna try to figure it out. So I've already done a continuity test on the wires, but uh, it didn't result in anything uh, conclusive. So what we're gonna do is pull this cover off right here and get in there and uh, see what we can figure out. Okay, I got the cover off and uh, First thing I noticed immediately is a slight smell of a burnt electronics. Um, if anyone knows anything about electronics or been around a burnt up motor, you'll know the smell. It's, it's faint, but I can smell it. But anyway, this line here, as you notice right away, it's coming in and going right back out. And what that's doing is it's going to this reversible switch um, and then it's coming back in here. now. If you don't know what you're doing or if um, everything's the same, you're not sh sure when you're going to put it back together, it's always good. The best thing is take videos uh, or pictures or write a diagram down. Um, in this case, where everything is almost exactly the same, I marked it with uh, kind of like different color crowns that I had. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull these off here. And uh, then we're going to test the resistance and uh, the ohms and make sure nothing's shortened to ground. Okay, I got all that pulled off. And um, as you can see, I pulled off the little dog bones. Because when you check for resistance on these motors, you actually have to check it like this. You got uh, W1, V1, and uh, U1, which corresponds to the same on the other side. But they're kind of like in an X pattern. This one here... It's got it labeled U, V, and W, but on the other side, it's X, Y, and Z. It's the same thing. You always pretty much go by a pattern like that. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, let's just check continuity. Make sure things are working. Okay. So this one here should correspond with that one and we're not getting nothing that might be the bad leg that one we're getting some that one we're getting some and let's just go ahead and check them all to ground real quick okay nothing to ground now we're going to select uh, I'm going to read the resistance. So this one wasn't reading. Let's get it on there. We got nothing. Four. Oh, let's see here. 3.3. Then we're going to go across. 3.3 and then this one we got nothing so it looks like this uh, V1 and V2 are burned up which is probably what I smelled so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take all this stuff off and pull the motor off looks like it's just gonna be that bolt and that bolt um, and then probably have to take it down to Palm Beach Motors or buy a new motor for this thing. So we'll go ahead and pull this off and see where we're at. Okay, I took the bolts out and uh, immediately noticed there might be an issue because of the two-step bolt system that it had in here. The one, this bolt here, the thicker one, bolts the motor to this spacer ring 
and then the long one bolts everything down to the, the mill. And it seems like um, that the whole drive mechanism, the belt system or whatever in there is uh, kind of connected with it. So what I'm gonna do is a uh, little research real quick. Um, I don't see that I should have to take all this apart just to get that motor off. Maybe it's just stuck in there, probably never been off, so. I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, it looks, uh, looks like it's never been apart, so I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so in my two minutes of research, I've concluded that um, I'm gonna have to get the belt off to get this out. This has to come out in one piece. So what they recommend is putting this to the highest speed so you get the most slack in the belt. And I actually put these bolts back in to put that, to connect that ring back so it's one piece. And um, I'm gonna try to finesse the belt out around the bottom of the pulley and then this thing should come right out. Okay, I got it out on the bench. Basically I worked the uh, belt out of there with a screwdriver and just kind of rotated it around. Um, and this thing basically looks like the same setup as like a snowmobile or a, a modern four-wheelers with the single drive where you just push the gas and go. And the faster the RPMs, um, the faster this thing goes. Now I, I gotta pull this off and um, there's a retaining clip there, but down in there there's an Allen key. I'm hoping I could just pull that Allen key off and get this thing off in, in one step. Now, up here, as you can see, it has that in there, which this supposedly adjusts the height, I guess, on that. Um, so, I don't know if I can get a new belt for this. That belt looks pretty stout. I doubt it's uh, going to have any issues with that. But, um, yeah, so it came out. Now I'm just worried about it's going to be a mother getting that thing back in.